Okay, in this video, I wanna talk about launch angle. So what it is, what its application is to the game of baseball, uh, if and how much you should concern yourself with launch angle as a hitter. Um, and the very first thing I think we need to discuss is sort of where this whole talk about launch angle came from. And so this starts with the idea that the conventional wisdom behind uh, teaching a hitter how to swing back in like the 80s and the 90s and probably even into the early 2000s was the idea was we want to be as short as we can into the zone and then we want to be on a downhill plane through the baseball to impart backspin on the ball. So the thought was if I could get my barrel into the zone really fast and then strike the center of the baseball and finish down through the bottom half, I'd get backspin. Uh, then what ended up happening is there was this whole sort of revolution in stat cast and tracking sort of the metrics and the physics of the game of baseball. And what they found out was balls hit on that angle, which is let's say zero to two degrees. And by that I mean, so I have a demonstration of, of what is level with the ground. So this is a zero degree angle in that the ground is level and this is level. So balls that leave at this angle or maybe even like a little tiny bit above this are generally ground balls. And in the major leagues, when you hit the ball on the ground, it's an out like 76% of the time. So people went, that's dumb. We need to stop doing that. So they found out, well, if we increase the angle at which the ball leaves the zone, we start to get more hits. So when a pitcher takes a, uh, when he pitches a fastball, it's coming downhill to the plate at like six degrees or negative six degrees. So we as hitters want to exist on that plane, right? So the idea was if instead of being level with the ground, we instead were level with the pitch coming in at six degrees, that would offer us the most time in the zone and thereby we'd hit the ball more often the hardest, right? So then they kept doing research on this and they figured out, okay, well, when you hit a ball at this angle, it's very often a base hit, but it's very rarely a home run, if ever, which the major leagues decided that it's best to hit home runs for a lot of different reasons. And so they found out, well, the best angle to hit a home run is like 25 degrees. So that is swinging uphill through the pitch, essentially. And so then you had this big revolution with uh, guys like Chris Bryant and Joey Gallo, who have really high angle swings. The caveat to throw in here is over the last couple years, home runs in Major League Baseball have gone up because of people say because of this switch to the idea of this higher launch angle. What's also gone up are strikeouts. So you're more likely to hit a, if you hit a ball at a certain velocity, which is another thing we need to talk about. But if you hit a ball at a certain velocity, you're more likely to hit a, as a home run on this swing plane, this 25 degree swing plane. But you're also more likely to strike out. And that is because without existing on the same plane as the pitch, you have to be really, really close to perfectly on time in order to hit that ball really, really hard. Whereas if I'm on the same, if, I, if my barrel exists on the same plane as the pitch, I can be a little bit late, I can be a little bit early and still square that ball up. The important thing that I always tell younger hitters is until you can hit a ball 95 miles an hour plus off of a tee, this conversation doesn't really make too much sense. Because even if, you have a swing plane that's this 25 degree, launch, creates a 25 degree launch angle, you still have to be able to hit the ball hard enough to get it out of the ballpark. So unless you, you hit that hard, the increase in your chance of striking out doesn't make any sense, right? So until I can hit a ball that hard, my concern needs to be with being on plane with the ball, meaning most pitches exist between six and 10 degrees downhill so we as hitters want to be six to 10 degrees uphill. This serves two purposes. Number one, we're going to hit, we're going to square balls up a lot. So we're going to hit balls really, really hard. And one thing that everyone needs to know is regardless of launch angle, exit velocity matters. So if you hit a ball really, really hard, there's a higher chance that it's going to be a hit. So that's thing one. Thing two is we as younger hitters or really just not major league hitters aren't very good at being on time. So the other thing that this provides, this angle provides, is it keeps us, keeps our barrel in the zone for a very long time. So we are, we exist on the same plane as the ball, meaning that we are more likely to make square contact with the pitch. So then if we're under the assumption, okay, we don't want to swing downhill 
And it's probably not beneficial for us as younger hitters to swing uphill. And we know we want to be on this plane. The question becomes, OK, how do we get on this plane? And this is where uh, a lot of the mechanical stuff in the past videos comes into play. Where what I will tell most every hitter is thing one that's essential is as, as we're loading. So our load consists of a weight shift created by our front foot picking up. And then secondly, a separation between our front foot and our hands as our front foot's hitting the ground. That's thing one in creating this angle. That's essential because this separation between our hands going back as our front foot is landing is what allows our swing to be initiated from our back leg. And if I can initiate my swing with my back leg, if at heel strike my hands are just reaching their loaded position and my back leg is just starting its rotation, what ends up happening is my back leg pulls my knob inside the pitch so I can get to here. And that's probably, if you can make those two things happen where you get separation with your front foot as your front foot lands, and you can start your swing with your back leg, I tell everybody, your swing plane will take care of itself. Because what happens is, barrel is the very, very last thing that comes in the swing. So as my heel strikes, my hands are reaching their loaded position, my hips have just started their rotation, and now it makes my first movement to the ball this, which is back elbow and back hip snapping inside the ball. You'll hear that referred to as your slot. And in doing that, your barrel lays back, and it almost always, if you're getting your hands to the correct spot, which is up and inside the ball, will exist on the correct plane. When hitters consciously start to think about creating an uphill plane, that's when you see really, really bad swings. And you'll see this on online all the time. Like on the internet, if you look at other hitting instructors or popular hitting instructors, you'll see this first movement where hitters are, are consciously trying to create this uh, drop in their barrel in their hands to create this uphill angle. Which as a pitcher, you see that and you start salivating because you're like, I can throw a fastball up to this person and will never be able to touch it. But if we as hitters go, okay, if I can establish separation at heel strike and then I can initiate my swing with my hips and not my hands, my barrel, my plane will take care of itself. My barrel will stay behind my hands and enter the zone efficiently and then stay in the zone for a really long time. So unless you have Unless you're failing to get to those positions at heel strike and at the beginning of your swing, we don't even need to consciously start to think about creating that uphill angle. Now, if you're uh, 6'3 and 240 pounds and you can hit a ball 95 miles off, off a tee, then it makes, might make a little more sense for you to start thinking about uh, creating a more uphill angle if you're okay with increased power and increase strikeouts. You're going to hit ball, hit balls less of the time, but when you hit them, you're going to hit them very, very high and very far. So that's kind of the skinny on launch angle. Until, for all of you, the important thing to remember is until you hit a certain size and strength level, it's going to behoove you to keep your barrel in the zone for as long as possible on playing with a pitch. That will uh, lead to the highest uh, percentage of super, super hard hit line drives and really, really hard hit line drives between zero and 10 degrees launch angle create base hits. They don't create home runs, but until you're a certain size, you can't hit home runs anyway. So we wanna hit balls as hard as we can, as often as we can, and get on base as often as we can.